Hey folks, welcome, welcome back to Curio Talk. We haven't been here in a while. Um, I was hoping to get a podcast to you guys in the last week, but uh, due to some scheduling conflicts with some of the members, we are going to postpone that until after Labor Day uh, weekend. So it's not going to be coming out this coming week, but the weekend, um, the the week after Labor Day um, weekend. So about the 10th, 11th, that's going to be where um, the podcast is going to come on. There was a lot of uh, very cool announcements that I was going to make during that, which uh, you guys are going to have to wait till then to do it. But um, yeah, we were hit with some big news uh, this morning. Uh, I will be posting this as soon as possible because we're going to be reacting to some of the stuff that Neff is saying. And, and um, you know, let's let's, let's go, go ahead and go. go. Uh, so <laughs> I'm like recording this right after I read it, and I'm kind of like still processing. Uh, so yeah, yeah we're, we're still, still processing, processing too. You know, know like we, we get, get it, bro. bro. Yeah, I mean, let's just kind of get into it because I this was not on my bingo card for 2023. As far as ESO is concerned, right? Uh, on a on their official Twitter account, the other was online stated, "As of today, we are pausing in-game gifting via the Crown Store for the foreseeable future. We understand that the ability to gift to friends is of value to many of you. I mean, friends, right? And are exploring options to re." I get, I get it, it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah it is quote-unquote friends, um, but, but I mean, people do this to gain currency in the game, so that's, you know, one of their forms of farming the game, um, even though it's a little bit of pay-to-play when you get to that point, um, there's not that much pay-to-win in, you know, in, in the game. We enable gifting in the future. Uh... So this is kind of like following, I, I guess this is yet another episode of the Crown Store Saga we've been covering on the, on the channel. Because uh, we, we, do, we do cover almost everything is related. Uh, so I guess if I had to give a summary timeline for people who missed out on the previous videos. Basically, late quarter one, PC, NA, and PC. Oh, Alright, so, so I'm, I'm going to do the speed, speed version of this because he takes forever to say this. Um, it started on PC first, they didn't allow crown crates to be done, and then it went to console. Um, after that, they came back and said, hey, we're going to allow you guys to gift other things in the crown store, um, but is going to be done through email. So, so there, there you go. go. Um, we the can, uh, gifting, I think, was uh, disabled to, you know, in, in this can, case, yeah. defraud. <laughs> People will probably... And, and I, I really do think there is something with the fraud thing going on because that is crazy um, that they're, they're doing that. That is crazy. It doesn't make any more sense other than them having a problem in the back end when it comes to fraud, money, money laundering. I mean, the sky's the limit. So I'm sure it's one of those and they're trying to figure out a way to, to work. And I can guarantee you probably Sony's not being the best when it comes to helping out in that, um, in that scenario. Because, I mean, Sony's like, oh... Buy crowns, yes, let's go buy crowns, and then you know, probably Sunimax comes and says, Hey man, you know, this person's abusing our system. Um, can you can you IP ban them or something? And they're like, Nope, they're buying stuff, blah, go away. That might be the case, um, which is probably why this, um, has to be made. I don't really think that this was i think this i mean i don't know i don't think this is the last resort but i think this is very close to the last resort on what um, probably try it on we'll probably do it on what they wanted and the last update was 
uh, them oh, in game gifting again in the future. And this is for not PC, not for console, for everybody. You can no longer gift anything, not just crown cards, anything from the crown store to people. Uh, and I talked a little about a little bit about this really small possibility that they'll probably do it very small and I talked about the potential consequences of doing this and the list of consequences uh, if I remember correctly I said was well short term it's probably gonna shake up a lot of things I mean we're talking about entire communities and uh, discord servers and uh, guild functions and events centered around crown crate or not it already has affected people um i know of a specific guild so far that they were planning to do some crown store giveaways for a housing contest and yep that's out the window because they can't give the 5k crowns they were gonna put um in the mix so they're gonna have to figure out another thing to give away um and i already know that multiple guilds sell crowns for gold to get their gold their guild traders so there you go um now the thing is i'm just wondering how many people have actually gone and kind of bulked up on the gold when you're going that route to make sure you guild as a trader if that's like the only source of income that you know you have to put towards a trader uh thankfully that's not our case so don't worry guys you're okay but i can guarantee you there's guilds out there in top stalls that do this and that's gonna affect them. Crown Creek, sorry, Crown Store gifting. We're talking about entire in-game player economies being shaken up because for the longest time now, since what, 2018 at this point, uh, Crown Creek, sorry, Crown Store, I keep saying Crown Creek, Crown Store gifting is like, it's such a huge thing. I, I don't, I don't know where to start. But short term, it's going to cause a lot of hectic messes. Um, I think for sure it will turn off a lot of people's interest in the game, especially if they are a veteran player who has nothing to spend their gold on apart from multipods or a bill, the occasional bills at this point, right? Because nothing much is changing. And uh, of course, the, the guilds that accumulated, the trade guilds that accumulated a lot of gold from um the uh, essentially like allowed uh rmt it, they're gonna stay on top for a little bit but i think long term it, it might stabilize like in terms of prices and stuff like that we might see um prices in the player economy go down eventually to where i mean I, it really depends as well on how long they're gonna pause or stop in-game gifting for it's a lot to wrap my mind around at the moment because there's so many things and uh guilds and all there's a lot there's a lot that's gonna go go on i think um and i don't know if this is a good or bad timing in t for eso so it's no secret that 2023 is literally going to be one of the golden years of gaming just so many good games coming out and that have come out um yesterday was starfield early access launch everyone i know is playing starfield and uh much of the world is playing starfield so maybe this was in their eyes a good time to do it while everybody in eso at least the long-term players are going away or are gone Play i mean it makes sense um he's not wrong about it starfield did just come out i think Baldur's gate is coming out as well pretty soon and a lot of players in eso 
are playing those games at the moment. So it's not going to affect the game as um, as an impact crazy if those things weren't happening. Because um, you guys know, like, ESO players, they play other games. They play New World, um, Starfield, Baldur's Gate, Diablo. Like, there's been so many games that have come out this past year that is insane that the ESO players are not playing at least one game. Like, for example... In October, I will be playing NHL 24 because I'm a hockey freak and every single October when that game comes out, I'm on that game. Um, I also play Call of Duty in my free time and then I play NHL 23. Like, those are like ESO, NHL 23, and Call of Duty are like my three biggest games right now. So any NHL game, Call of Duty, whichever one that I decides to get on and then ESO those three are my biggest games that I do um I've been doing a lot of uh Ghost Recon Sniper I think is what it's called it's it's set in Bolivia pretty good game um it's like a four-person co-op game if you want to play online um or friends but you can play solo as well and I've been doing that as well um I actually did that uh game with JPY and Genocide and Bolt um, way back when it first came out I think it was like free in the crown store or something and we we actually like played it together and uh we beat like I beat the storyline and such and I know JPY and Jen uh, went after like some achievements and such that they needed but um I mean it's a cool game and I know people are gonna play Baldur's Gate obviously um it's it looks pretty nice not my type of game though but I don't know, I may warm up to it. However, this is the perfect timing because kids are back to school as well. Like, people are going back to college. Um, there's not... The game is not going to have as many people as in the summer when everybody was out of school, um, including teachers and administration, and people are able to have a little bit more free time to play the game. But now that everybody's going back to school, kids are going back to college, you know, teachers are going back to school, I can see why it's taking a little bit longer for them to to do this. And this is the perfect time. Um, if they have to figure out what to do, um, this, this is probably the right time to start something like this. Maybe you can get it back running by Christmas time because I think that's when people are going to want crown gifting back for sure. Um, I'm hoping it's beforehand because um, we were planning on putting a house in the raffle for the guild, the mat raffle coming up. And I don't know what we're going to do now. <laughs> Um, but we'll we'll see. Uh, back Playing to other next. games, so maybe they figured this that this is a good time to do it. I can see that. Uh, so we're, all this we're gonna, sitting on top. We're gonna go to these um uh, to these twitters. So well, there goes any bigger raffle items for small traders trying to make some gold for the spots. True. It's a shame some players have to ruin games for others. I hope you find these solutions too. Maybe something that involves them instead of everybody. I really do think it has to do with fraud and money laundering. Because if it's something very small, they wouldn't shut this system down like this. And I figured that... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not sure why they're still getting rough things but yeah <clears throat> now people are saying hopefully this might lead to an official crown trading system without having to rely on trust um i don't know if you're going to stop to let everyone exchange crowns for gold something used to allow if you do that know that a massive portion of the community will stop playing um i don't think it's going to be a massive portion i mean people still play the game without crowns and such like in a way, crowns, um, the only people that are going to be, like, heavily affected as far as, like, playing the game are the people that build houses and such. Um, or maybe, you know, like, the people that do fashion scrolls. 
um, role play, you know, Fashion Scrolls role playing kind of thing. And then the people that that build houses um, and have housing contests, like the housing nerds. Those are really the people that are going to be heavily affected by this. And I could see them stop playing the game for a while until things get back. Um, or maybe, you know, like go to another game like Starfield, Diablo, you know, blah, blah, blah. Until this comes comes back. So I could see that. Um, as far as the rest of the community, they're going to still play. Like the game still works. This is the crown store that you use to get crowns. Um, that you used to get like I guess you're not gonna be able to get crown crates, but that's not gonna stop your inability to play the game. So yeah, um, this is well. Thanks for ruining the game. Yeah, they're practically cleaning, clean, killing the game. Many of the community farm gold for that, which is bad on their part. Um, and they do have a gold sink, which is the guild trade. Well, I mean, so. that, that's unavoidable. Um, for now. No. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're actually going to go to um, the Sabling Crown gifting is a bad idea. Um, more and more, it seems the game is doing everything it can to alienate the end game community. We have nothing to do with the gold we get at the end game. Now, more than ever, to pull to play something bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, like, it's going to affect carries for sure because a lot of people use the gold from carries to buy, like, cute little things. Um, but... I hate to say it, a lot of the end community people that do carries, they sell their gold. Um, I know it's against terms of services, but that's what they do. They don't use their gold for crowns, guys. They sell their gold. Um, whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. But uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but I know for a fact this happens. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm not gonna mention any any names because, yeah, um, if you want to go ahead and mention names, you can. But uh, know that I will be deleting those comments. So there we go. And, and somebody says, yeah, putting bots out of work is a bad thing. Um, to be honest, I think bots are still gonna be working. So. It's unfortunate, but I'm sure they don't want to alienate any part of the game community. It's true. I don't really think they want to, they wanted to do this. I think this is kind of like one of the last resorts kind of thing. And I really do hope they can, you know, like this guy, Methylin, I do hope they can arrive at a solution for gifting in time for the holiday gift exchange. Because that is something cool that happens in the forums. A lot of people do that. Um, and this person says, I enjoy participating in that. And though crown gifts aren't the only thing that gets shared at the time, they are a big part of it. So um, in PC, I know there's a holiday gift exchange. I'm not sure if they do it on console or not. Um, I might actually do a Secret Santa in the guild for Christmas this year. But um, this would be a very big part of it if people were like, hey, you know, there we go. And somebody says, back to pre-update 18 period for now. Yeah, not all the time we were able to give crowns. So guess what, Toss? People are going to be selling more gold now uh, for money, for actual like money so good luck with that um then princess of thieves says yeah for me personally being able to earn stuff in game is very important i spent a lot of time farming stuff i can sell dungeon master it's without the ability to buy crown gifts there will be no cosmetic goals to work towards and i will have significantly less motivation motivation to play the amount of cosmetics you can earn in game is very limited and some of them require insane feats such as trial trifectus which is true however they have started going in the right direction with necrom and the skin and such that you can earn so i do agree with this there's not enough cosmetics you can earn in game and the ones that you can that are really nice, they're very limited because they do require trial trifectas. But Necrom Update has actually given a lot of people 
some hope for the future and some cool stuff. So I think Sauce has to fix this very fast or they're saying that this game is done and we have one or two years max. I hope not. Um, this says, this says, and the guy says, same with me grinding for gold felt good because of the recommends of getting stuff from the crown store. Now that's, what's the point? The majority of my time playing was making gold. What am I supposed to do now? Just hoard a pile of useless fake currency? I mean, yeah, why not? If you're not doing anything else, just go ahead and do it. Play the game. And... <laughs> Oh my god, this is this, yeah, this guy, you mean play a video game? Honestly, any outrage over this against Sauce is misplaced. Fraud is not good, and frankly, it is in Sauce's best interest, best interest to make sure their game doesn't allow for it. 100%. If this is what's going on, which I'm pretty sure it has to do something with that level of intense, then I want Sauce to fix it. So people are not able to do this in the game because fraud is a very, very serious offense. So thank you, Jaws343. I really do like your comment, and I think it's one of the best comments I've seen so far. Um, yes, there should be a little bit of outrage, but like, again, guys, Sauce this probably did not want to do this. This is last resort kind of thing. Um, and somebody says they should disable the crown store and making some worthwhile rewards i mean they're trying i don't think disabling and i mean neff has even said i don't think this is correct um and then this guy says they disabled the biggest gold sink of the game um no the biggest gold sink in the game is guild traders and i can guarantee you there's guild traders and mournhold that they are not selling crowns to support their traders like they're still gonna sink money into the guild there are some gold sinks in the game that are for crowns but it's not the biggest gold sink the biggest gold sink is from questing and from like selling mats if anything the biggest gold sink is having bots around and people like buying from bots um and I mean, this guy's like, it's a terrible idea. The game has, the game doesn't have a lot of cool things that can be earned. That's, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess. And then this guy says, maybe ESO shouldn't have been free on Epic Games. So many gold sellers began to pop up a lot more since the whole Epic Games thing. Yes! This is actually a thing. Like, don't make it free. Uh, this is honestly really bad. Like, I clown sauce and collecting nothing but L's of late, but I can't even make fun about this. Even if they deem this is necessary to prevent fraud and eventually one day bring it back, the damage is monumental and the message is bleak. Um, do they know how fundamental this is to the game economy? I'm pretty sure they do. Um... Like I said, I'm I'm absolutely positive they wouldn't do this if they didn't have a very good excuse. Because guys, like, people buy crowns. Like, there's actual wealthy players in the game that have actual money outside of the game. That they, if they want something, they'll just buy crowns, sell crowns, and then say, hey, um, give me a carry, like, give me God Slayer. Like, there's people that actually pay to win in this game. Um, it's a little bit different than other games, but you can pay to get God Slayer or Griffin Heart or Savaka Scourge or Planesbreaker. Like, you can actually pay to that. Um, and some people have the money to do that. So, obviously, like, Sauce is losing money on this not only through the crown store but like through people just being mad so um yeah like this this is correct all crown sales do is transfer gold around to other players that's all it is if if anything um like questing is the one bringing gold into the game 
And then the the crown sales is just transferring that gold around. Yeah, like, but that's not an actual gold sink. Um, I mean, maybe on PC, I don't know. I hope they know that if they permanently end the gold to the crown trade, they'll be kicking a massive chunk of players out of the game. Um, I really do think it's going to go back to what it was before, like, in Update 18, where people, like, actually sold gold for PSN cards. Um, I've, I knew of people that did it uh, way back in the day, and, I mean, why not do that again? It's very risky because it is against terms of services, so, like, you, you better do it, you know, in a good way, but people are going to do it. So, we got Gifting Crowns Feedback Thread. Um, <laughs> oh man. It would help if we knew where the fraudulent activity was taking place. Is it scams the players and the player-to-player -player transaction, stolen cards, buying the crowns in the first place, some geographic shenanigans, different types of fraud? I mean, it, it really, we really don't know. And I mean, I'm sure Sauce knows where the scams and fraud is coming from, but like, if it's from like China or whatever, like they, they really can't do much about that. Player to player scams. Add crowns as a tradable currency in the trade window and add a text box like deleting a character to confirm the agreement. Yes, this is actually something that was brought that has been brought up in the past. You can trade crowns, but I still think that if people are doing fraud things, this is not gonna stop that. Um, this is going to be a better way to get, um, player to player scams, but not necessarily stolen, stolen cards. Reduce the number of crown transactions based on the age of the account, allow allowing larger transactions on older accounts. Um, this could definitely hinder those accounts, but, um, yeah. New accounts cannot purchase anything until there have been at least a week of age. Perhaps you could have forum sign up be a requirement, but I don't know if that's a good idea either. I think new accounts can't purchase anything in the or account can't gift anything in the crown store for like 90 days, something like that. I would have it to where it's like six months or some ridiculous amount like that. Um, I still think people are going to just have accounts signed up and then just do it six months at a time geographical there's there's no solution like it, it um they block crown crates in belgium because their laws uh, maybe they could keep the low prices on crowns and eso plus for regions like turkey but block crown gifting for those who buy cheap crowns um hmm I don't think that that was the case though. Um, I mean, if I think if you buy, and that's gonna like do a lot of, that's gonna have to be a lot of programming um, where I get, I think what you're saying is if you have people that, when you buy crowns are like half off, like during this PSN sales or whatever, have like a crowns uh, window where you can gift a certain amount of crowns um, that are not from that sale, um, that could be, that could be a thing. I could see that. Uh, people would probably be pissed about that. But, a restricting gifts, gold transfers to new account. Yes, like, I really do think the restricting, um, new, you know, the new accounts to do stuff might actually be a, a way. Requiring a minimum account age plus activity level plus CP level. Um, it's gonna limit scammers, but like people are still gonna be able to to farm up CP and such. So I really do think the requiring in a minimum amount account age is gonna be a thing. Free September time limited crown store items to be available until you will find a solution in the name of God. Yes, I mean I agree. If there was an in-game vendor that converted gold to crowns and vice versa, no, no. 
No. Um, this would hurt them more than anything. Um, I mean, I get it, the wild token of sorts, but do it informally outside the game. Sauce is going to allow gold to crown. Why not? No. Because then people would just, like, just farm gold. It would be it would be a lot worse for Sauce to, to do that. This is very frustrating. My friends are stuck in limbo due to the Alliance change token I gift to late last night before Sauce randomly shut the feature off. So now my two friends cannot accept or deny the gifted Alliance change token when they go to buy one from the crown store with their own money. It says they can't buy it until they accept or deny the token. Wow. Oh no, they need to, like, actually this needs to, to be, like, a ticket needs to be sent. Wow, that's, that's unfortunate. Alright, so starting today, we are pausing, blah, blah, blah. And this is their response. I honestly believe fraud of any magnitude is wrong. I also believe punishing the masses by restricting a prominent feature of the, your game is wrong. I mean, I do agree, but guys, you don't understand. Fraud is... It's it's a big thing. So, if that's the case, which, like I've said before, I think it is. Fraud is a very big deal. It's a bigger deal than people think and are making it out to be in these forums. Many guilds use crown, cri crown gifting to fund raffles. Guild leaders buy crowns. Yeah, I mean, guys, like, I, I was doing it too. We we're going to buy a house for... for the people like I, I gotta figure out a solution to that as someone who has done programming for having to medically retire I know it would not be terribly difficult for your team to adjust your current trading system to allow for crowns or crown bought items to be traded as a gift crowns are simply yes but that's that's not what's going on what's going on is that people are doing it and the fraud magnitude, and they're doing this. It's I'm pretty sure it's not a programming thing. I think it's just the they gotta figure out how to take care of the fraud that's going on. Um, I mean, the, people are saying the same thing. Like this is this is definitely. Um. I almost think uh, accounts that that can gift are accounts that have ESO plus make it to where I mean make that a thing too uh, but people are probably gonna not be happy with me uh, take note of what some other MMOs like guild wars 2 and add an in currency exchange um but at least if you did this something good could come from this mess and it would literally be the same situation where some people want to spend gold it's just a simple tab in the crown store that allowed players to exchange gold for crowns and even crowns for gold at a somewhat stable price this solves everything if i have a lot of gold from what i do in the game that I mean, I understand, guys, but, like, I think Sauce would be losing money in the end when you get that. Since Sauce brought up the topic of the crown, so here are a couple permanent changes I think they should make to help alleviate pain points in the game or just to improve quality of life. Faction change tokens, raise change tokens, should be, should have an in-game equivalent similar to, Cl yeah, um, actually, this, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Um, because that is a big issue of, you know, what's going on. Um, the faction change tokens and race change tokens, I really do think they should have an in-game equivalent. Where, I mean, even if you have to, like, grind, like, 10 days or some ridiculous thing like that. Like, do a quest for 10 days. Like, spend 10 minutes in a quest for, like, 10 days or so. And then you get, like, a change token. Or a race change token or something. Um, kind of like the Timber Crow costume in PvP. Like the Gladiator stuff. Like If it's stuff like that. 
The basic merchant banker could all easily be a part of the new companion system that we can unlock from playing the game. Reskin, reskins and the like should be in the crown store, but they shouldn't lock this quality of life companion in the crown store. Um, no, the whole point of mer the merchant and banker decon systems is they want they want people to have that convenience. Um, so I really do think that should be left in the crown store. Um, I I get it, but this is this is just something cool. Like yeah, it would be nice, but uh. People would take advantage of that. Older houses that have been in the crown store for a while should all eventually be available to unlock the achievement. Plus gold option in the game. I thought some were available to do that already. I think you can do some of those already. I, I know you can't do all of them, but I know some you can do. Can't wait. Similar to how people buy expansions on release instead of waiting for them to be included. Uh, so like if you buy Actually, I could see that like let's say that you buy the The Necron chapter Eventually like a year after Necron comes out you'd be available to unlock that house via like a gold achievement plus whatever option maybe even two years that's not a bad idea. That's actually not a bad idea. It would- it, this I could get- it's especially older houses. Not newer houses, because like if people want something like, you know, the ship that was posted like a while back. Um, that's different. I think that kind of thing. Uh, but if you want it now, you need to get crowns. But like maybe two years after a house comes out. Um, there could be like some sort of trigger quest that you could do. <clears throat> I mean, lock, lock Pakruti up. You don't want to lock the Khajiit up, man. No, I really do think crown crates are a very cool thing that they have. Um, it's, it's gambling, yes, but there's also a sense of entertainment when you think about it. So... I really don't think they should just delete it. Uh, figured I'd add another unreasonable request. Sell transmutes. Um, actually, I would allow... Can can we have transmutes be stackable in the guild bank or like in a chest? Um, be able to stack transmutes in stacks of 200 would be nice. Um, like, you know those the purple transmute the 10 like if you can stack those in like stacks of 200 that would be nice so like use the uh the stack method or whatever so that actually might be a thing what does sauce have to gain by doing nothing which is why i expect none of these changes <laughs> then why post them oh my god I mean, I can see the older houses thing, but that's a little bit of work if you have to unlock it via an achievement. They could put it locked to a trial or a dungeon trifecta. Um, it might actually make people play the end game a little bit more or like lock it to like a PVP event. I don't know something or log it to an event who knows there's this number two definitely not number four definitely not number five number three and number one there's ways to to do it that's actually not that bad and I might actually come back to to this topic a little bit soon but anyways uh thank you guys for watching if you like our guild and would like to get in our discord to get a invite then there is the discord link right there now we have the people that boost our discords thank you guys for those boostings it is myself scoring music 09 x reading x and merc 271 
always would love to have more people boost our discord but if you don't then you are more than welcome to just chill out in our discord but if you can't support please do so we do not want you however to be spending the money that you'll be using on food or your way of life to do this so please don't you know if you're if you're broke don't do it <laughs> uh but thank you guys and have a great day